This is a zoom call on my PC, but what you're looking at is not my mirrorless DSLR. It's not my crappy built-in webcam. It's not even an 8K red. It is my iPhone acting as a webcam on my PC and on my Mac that I can use in any conference call software that I want to use it in. <laughs> Right now, in your hand, you might very well be holding your next webcam. So it turns out your iPhone has a pretty decent camera. I mean, built-in camera on the iPhone, $1,600 Canon M6 Mark II. Built-in camera on the iPhone, $1,600 SLR. Built-in camera on the iPhone. Don't get me wrong, this is beautiful, but this is a camera you already own. Hmm. Let's talk about how to get that image out of your iPhone into any app that you want to use it in on your Mac or your PC, whether it be Zoom, whether it be Skype, whether it be Teams, whether it be Google Meet. As long as it can accept a webcam, we're going to show you how to get the beautiful image out of your iPhone into that app. You will need, first, <laughs> an iPhone. Second, a Lightning Digital AV Adapter. On one end, it's going to have a lightning port just like that. On the other end, it's got a HDMI port ready to go and some pass-through power for your lightning port if you need it. Three, HDMI cable. Fourth, a USB HDMI capture device. This bad boy is one I bought off Amazon for like 30 bucks. One end, HDMI in. Other end, USB. Plug that into your PC or your Mac. And now whatever's coming in that HDMI is just going to show up as a webcam. And five, and most importantly, the beautiful and ultra amazing Filmic Pro app. This is the app that will take your image off your iPhone and put it into your webcam. So let's put it all together. iPhone, digital AV adapter, boom. HDMI cable, boom. Other side of that HDMI cable into USB adapter, boom. USB adapter into your PC. Launch Filmic Pro. Now that we've put it all together, what you're looking at is the output from my iPhone over my AV adapter, over my HDMI cable, into my USB capture device, and now it's showing up as a webcam. This is the magical Filmic Pro. If you're not convinced about how good Filmic Pro is, Steven Soderbergh uses it, Zack Snyder's made some shorts in it, Michelle Gondry has made fantastic little films with it as well. Filmic Pro is the best video app you're gonna get on your iPhone. It does a whole bunch of stuff, let's go real time, like color correcting, we can do stuff in real time, let's go switch that back. It allows us to adjust our ISO in real time so we can make things look the way we want them to look. It allows us to do cool things like focus peaking so we can see whether we're peaking and where we've getting, we're getting our focal points. Uh, it gives us a whole bunch of capabilities that are mind-blowing for a phone app. But the number one feature that we care about, because we don't want all of this business all over our, our calls, is we can tap on settings. We can then hit hardware. And under hardware, look at that. Clean HDMI out. And now that we've turned on clean HDMI out, we are getting a clean image onto our Zoom call here. This is the image coming out of our beautiful glass on our iPhone. This is the image coming out of the beautiful app that is Filmic where we can adjust things and be reasonably professional about it. Uh, but And all those settings can stay here on Filmic. I'm seeing them on my camera right here. But what you're seeing on this call is now the clean image out of my iPhone. How good is that? So that's it. That's how you get an image out of the beautiful lens on your iPhone into any webcam software on your PC or your Mac. To recap, you need an iPhone, which plugs into a AV adapter, which plugs into a HDMI cable, which plugs into a USB capture device. That device goes into your PC or your Mac, and now that image is gonna show up. Once you, once you run Filmic Pro, and you switch on clean HDMI out, you're gonna get all the pro features of Filmic Pro, but without all the overlays. Pro tip, if you wanted to roam a little bit more, and say you want, and if you wanted to get rid of this guy out of the equation, you could replace this guy with an Apple TV. And then you can talk wirelessly to your Apple TV, and 
be able to roam around. The downside of that is because it's wireless, it's a little bit flaky. So you're gonna decide whether you want roaming or consistent quality. I don't use the Apple TV option because I want consistent quality. But that's a pro extra thing in case you want that. But Filmic Pro is going to give you your clean HDMI out, which is going to go over your AV adapter, which is going to go over your HDMI cable, which is going to go into your USB capture device, which is going to go into your USB port, and then you're going to have your image out. How good are you? Thank you so much for listening. Hope you got value out of this. If you did, share it. Don't be greedy and keep it all to yourself. I know you want to keep it all to yourself, and you don't want your friends to know how smart you are, but I want your friends to know how smart you are and why you're so smart because of me. Be my friend friend <sighs> bye subscribe be awesome thank you be beautiful don't be beautiful be ugly be whoever you are don't give a crap <laughs>